right, ladies and gentlemen collectors. Um, this is a quick video on the repair for Deadpool's slinky wrist, I believe. Like, you know, it's like really loose right here. It's really hard to kind of keep his hand up with the katana in it because it's really loose. And um, what I use for my figures when they have loose joints is... It's actually a floor polish, play edge floor care. It has to have future in it. Like, I read the back of the bottle and everything to make sure that I got the right stuff. But this is what it's called, care, play edge floor care. I'm going to take some of this and put it in a dropper and drop it on the figure's wrist and then put it back in the peg. And then I'll be able to tighten it up a little more he should be able to hold the katanas a little better but this is for anybody who asked me on facebook i decided to do it on camera right now instead of just explaining it because actions speak louder than words so let's do this so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take a little bit of this floor care stuff put it in this dripper you don't need much of it Took a little bit of the dripper and put it in there. By the way, if you are underage, please get help from a parent or somebody older than you. If you're under the age of 18, do not try this at home. So I got my stuff in the dripper right here. I'm going to take the hand off. I'm going to put a little bit, just a few drops on this peg right here. And we should be good to go. Let's see if we make sure I get this on camera. Just a little drop. A couple of little drops. Now this should not damage your other hands for you to put on there. If anything, it would make them a little bit tighter. So I'm going to drop this in here. Stick it in there. Let it dry a little bit. It's not going to work directly right off hand. You're going to want to give it 24, 48 hours, something like that. But, like, if you blow on it a little bit, move it around, it should come. I'm going to put another drop on here just to be sure. Make sure it's nice and saturated. It shouldn't hurt anything. It shouldn't hurt any of the other joints or anything like that. Like, it's way better than using super glue. So, like I'm going to put this back in here. I'll post another video tomorrow. Yeah, it's tightening up a little more. I'll post another video tomorrow after it dries out. It's already not falling over. So, you know, there you go, guys. There's a video for you. Like kind of a tutorial on for the loose joint for the Deadpool hand. I have not changed the head yet. I'm still afraid to. So maybe somebody can give me some confidence to do it. But that's all I got for now. All right, guys. Later. All right, ladies and gentle collectors. Here's your boy Wally once again with the update to the GameStop exclusive Deadpool, as you know, yesterday I did a review slash tutorial on how to fix the Deadpool and his arm. I used a teardropper and the floor, the pledge floor care stuff has to have future in it. Use a teardropper. You know, we went over this yesterday. I will be posting a YouTube video of it just in case you guys missed it. I'll probably post it in the comments afterwards or something like that. But um, it's now 24 hours later. I don't let it sit a whole 24 hours. His wrist does not wobble or wiggle or anything like that. As you can see, his wrist is perfectly fine. You know, yesterday when I tried to turn it, it just stayed. Well, it actually didn't stay. It just flopped around. As you can see, 
there's no problem with this wrist now. You can turn nicely on his own. You can put more in there if you want it tighter, but I just want it tight enough to where it just don't flop around. So what I'm gonna do on camera is I'm going to switch the hands and the head on it just to show you that I don't have it glued in here or nothing like that. I have not tried to do it, so I'm gonna do it right now. Let's see what it does. Pops out pretty smooth. Not a lot of excess on the joint itself. This other hand in. Fits in there pretty snug. Doesn't move around. Now, what I've heard about a lot of people saying that switching the head has been an issue for them, just QC type ordeal. I have not switched my head yet, so I might as well try and do it on camera. If it breaks, it breaks. You'll see it live right here, right now. Oh, I heard a crack too. Okay, I popped that head off. I'm about to put the variant Venom head on here and see how this goes. Yeah, it's kind of tight. Yeah, it won't even go on here. Hold on, I'm gonna have to take it off camera and pop it on. Yeah, it took a whole heck of a lot of force to put this head on there. Like, it fitted on there, but I had to put a whole bunch of pressure to get that head on there. I mean, it made it on there just fine, but it took a whole lot of pressure to get it on. It's on. But, um, yeah, this is pretty much all I wanted to do and show you guys. Just to show you that the player's floor care works, make sure that you have a teardropper available. Make it handy. I actually cannot. F oh, it's right here. Make sure you use one of these teardroppers right here. Put it directly on the joint. Let it sit for 24 to 48 hours. And your wrist joint should be fine. Let me see if I can get this back in here real quick. Yep. See? Still not wobbly. Not wobbly at all. Now you seen from the earlier video when I tried to do it, his wrist would not be able to stay like this at all. So, um, yeah, that's all guys. Um, check me out on YouTube. It's by the same name, Wally Wop, you know. And that's it, you guys. Um, uh, Always make sure that you know that there is life outside of the hobby. And stay crispy, my friends. Hallelujah, holla back.